Hey everyone, right here. So I'm going to be doing an album review this time of a Japanese artist that I haven't done before. And this is for Hikaru Itada. And so I'm super excited to go ahead and do this one. I showed you guys in my first J-pop haul that my mother had been a sweetheart. She'd actually sent this CD out to me that I actually bought way back in like 2003 when this album first came out. The album that I've chosen to go through will be her album Exodus and this was the first one she released in America I believe and I got this as soon as it came out on the shelves. I was introduced to her probably the same way most people were with Kingdom Hearts when that came out um, with the song Simple and Clean and then Kingdom Hearts 2 with her passion song and so I was super excited when I found out oh my gosh she's releasing a CD so I went and I bought this the second I heard about it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and go through the tracks and I will let you guys know what my thoughts are on each of them. Number one is Opening. And this is her introductory track to the entire album. And I found it very soothing. And the sounds that she includes in this introduction and what she's singing about really gear you up for I feel like what the album feels like as a whole. Just the musical instruments, and just the way her vocals are and just this this calming introduction because the title of it itself exodus is like a journey and so what she's singing about here she's like it's you know you can just kind of tell them by the message that she's giving like she's crossing over to this new genre she's going into a new type of music here where she is going to try something different. She's releasing one in America and Japan as well and so it's just kind of a big exodus in a sense and so it's really cool and I thought she did a really great job with this opening and I never skip past this because I just feel like uh, it just really brings me into the mood of this whole album. Two is Devil Inside and I really like this song. It's so interesting. The first time I heard this I remember I was just like whoa this is really different but I love the instrumentations here and also her voice just sounds flawless and amazing like I just uh, she goes from such a wonderful and beautiful pitch here and her voice is just so unique compared to a lot of artists out there in the world and so it's definitely I don't know if the word's right vibrato-y more so than a lot of other artists but she has such a different range than so many and it just makes this song that much more interesting and the song itself i mean it's called devil inside so she's talking about having like a devil inside of her that she's not the angel that everybody thinks or wants her to be and everything like that and so it's just it's an interesting song but i love the like asian sounds in the background like it's just got that that cultural sound in the back and I just I love that it really made this song for me so I would definitely recommend this song on this album because it is a fantastic song. Four is Exodus 04 and this song is so beautiful and it starts off like just the way that the instruments are here in the beginning it sounds so epic <laughs> and like I just I always envision like if there's a music video for this song that she's going on this like big journey and you just see this gorgeous mountain landscape and just her traveling as she's singing about this whole journey and so this song I just found was flawless I loved the lyrics with this one and just it just keeps with this epic beat and I just love it like yes it's definitely slower but it makes it so beautiful and I don't know I feel like the lyrics connect us more to her like here I don't know I feel like she was tell telling a lot of stories through all of these lyrics and as we know she's a great artist especially when it comes to writing songs and composing them and things like that and so this song was just it was just a really beautiful compilation in my opinion and so I really appreciated the time she took to make this song. Four is The Workout. This song is interesting. It's Like, I, the first time I heard this, I really didn't know what to think of it. I just feel like it doesn't have a beat or a melody that is really memorable for me. It's just so odd. And all the sound effects and, like, it goes from, like, I, I guess so confused with what's happening in the song. I mean, it's called The Workout, I assume, like, you know. <laughs> 
but then she's like, what is it, three girls, four guys, and I, <laughs> I don't think I want to know what all is happening, but it's just, I don't know, and then I was talking with a born again Christian, it's just, the song's not really my thing, it's just, see, and I just, I, I really don't know what to say, guys, I, uh, I can listen to this song sometimes, but majority of the time I skip past this, because it's just not, it's not a good song for me, like, I just don't care for it, so, I don't have much else to say. Five is Easy Breezy, and I actually really like this song. I just think her vocals here are just so soft and beautiful, and they just flow so elegantly with the rest of the song. Um, and it's just, it's so well done, minus I don't like the line where she's like, Obviously it's called Easy Breezy, which I'm fine with that line, but going from the you're easy breezy and I'm Japanesey, I just, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of stupid to point out, like obviously we know she's not, <laughs> like that she is Asian, so I just feel like to point out even more that you're already Japanese, it's, it just kind of sounded cheesy, like I'm Japanesey, the Easy Breezy part I'm fine with, but I don't know, I don't know what else you could get to rhyme there, so I mean it makes sense, but... Other than that, I really did like this song, and I also like the music video too with it. She looks gorgeous in the music video, <laughs> and I just think the song is just kind of humorous because it it's kind of like the typical American guy relationship. No offense to any American guys out there, it's just <laughs> how there is, at least in my high school, there is quite a large stereotype with things like that, and so it's just... I don't know. This this song is just super upbeat and very catchy, and so that's probably why I like this song is because it gets stuck in my head all the time. But definitely one of my more favorite tracks on this album. Six is Tippy Toe. And I do like this song in an odd way, but the song is really bad. I mean, she's talking about like she's having an affair with this married man that has kids, and uh, that's pretty intense situation, so tippy toe, they're tippy toeing, seeing each other and hoping they don't get caught, and it's kind of a more scandalous song for her to be singing about, because from what I know of her, I don't think she sings quite a lot of these types of songs, and so it's just kind of surprising, and it seems a little bit out of her element, in my opinion, but like, I do like the beat of this just because it is so odd, and I don't mind it, though her vocals are extremely high in some parts of the song, and it just kind of like hurts my, like, my vocals <laughs> to, like, think about it being that high, and so it's, I feel like this song could have been really good if it had different lyrics about something else, but it's an okay song. Seven is Hotel Lobby, and I actually like the music with this song, like, it's so exotic sounding, and I know this song's supposed to be, like, about a prostitute, or <laughs> so I'm like, it's all for the money, the money things about and again while I'm not like a huge fan of the lyrics for this song like I really do like the beat with this it's kind of just it's like got that Arabic Egyptian feel with something else and I don't know what it is <laughs> to like put my finger on it and tell you guys exactly but I do enjoy this song so I don't skip past this one or tippy toe very often because they're just so different I like the beat that's in this I like that she kept to a lower register in this song as well because I found that more appealing. I find that I like it a lot more when J-pop artists stay lower and I think it's just because sometimes I find that like high-pitched Japanese voice to be kind of irritating. Like if you've watched any animes, like you should know what type of voice I'm talking about where it's just super squeaky and high-pitched and like no offense to Hamasaki Ayumi but like in her songs how she can get like super high-pitched in this weird nasal high voice that kind of like ugh. Why are you doing that? So I think she has a gorgeous lower voice, and so I, I really did appreciate that song for this aspect. And the chorus I thought was awesome in this too. The like it just sounds so gorgeous. Eight is animato and animato, I don't know how you want to say that. I probably should have looked at it before I did this video, but I'm not quite sure what that even means. 
it's almost got like a marching sound in the background to me. Like I picture like soldiers marching with the like marching drums and everything like that. And the song, while it's not my favorite, it has a very unique appeal to it. I'm not like a huge fan of what the lyrics are talking about again. I just felt like it could have been like much cooler in that song because I like the chorus part. So the song's not like a total fail in my opinion. I do actually enjoy this one in a strange sense. I just have to be in the right mood to deal with this one. Um, I mean, it's talking about all sorts of things like in, throughout history, and so it's just it's kind of it's just it's just interesting. It's unique. So I mean, this whole album definitely is a more unique side to Utada, and so. I think she did a really good job with it. You like this. I love this chorus part. It worked beautifully, and I'm not sure what the instrument there is in the background, but I really do enjoy that part as it's going through the choruses throughout the song. Nine is crossover interlude. So it's pretty much, it's. I'm pretty sure it's like the exact same lyrics that was in the opening um, at the start of this whole album. It's just a little changed up a little bit more, and again, like, I don't have an issue with it. It's not very long. They're both only like a minute or so many seconds, and so I do find it enjoyable. I hardly skip passages because, I mean, it's just so brief and quick, but again, it's a good mix. Ten is Kremlin Dusk, and this song starts out so beautifully. Again, a nice, soft, easy song, and I feel like Utada is very, very good when it comes to ballads and very meaningful and powerful songs. And so this song starting out like this, just this really like brought the Utada sense back to me. And I just, I love her vocals in this. They're just, I feel like you can hear more emotion in this song. I think that's why I like this one. And the name Kremlin Dusk just made it sound very intriguing to me when I first saw the back of the CD to see what the tracks were when I bought this. And it was just, it's a, it's a really beautiful song, and it's, I think, I feel like the lyrics mean a little bit more to me in this one, but her vocals there, getting so high, like, I was so impressed with how high she gets here, and it definitely, like, builds up to it, and I think I like this song, too, because I asked this, I might be a total nerd, but it kind of reminds me of, like, a Final Fantasy game, like, this sound. It just reminds me of like the good old like Final Fantasy 7 and 8 like RPGs and just I don't know it's like that arcade-ish almost sound and it's just a classical like video game style sound that I get really excited about when I hear it and so nonetheless I was super excited when I heard that it just even made that the song even better for me so I would definitely recommend this one as well I, I feel like I like all her slower songs. Eleven is You Make Me Want to Be a Man. Definitely an interesting title. And it's so good. I really do like this song. Like, it's got so many, like, strange instrumentals happening here, but I love, again, like, that Japanese sounding flute or whatever that instrument is in the background. Like, it gives that, that oriental exotic feel, and I, I just love that. And she's kind of going through the facts of, like, she wants to be a man because things seem more simplified and rather than her being a woman and because as women we naturally tend to make things a bigger deal or they're more frustrating or we have to go through more and all that stuff type and then that it's easier to be the guy but you know depending on which view you're looking at i'm not going to get into like politics or anything like that everyone has their own opinion i am simply just talking about what i think the song is about so um i do really enjoy this song though like it's it's got such a unique feel to it. I never skip past this song. Twelve is Wonderbound. And I hate this sound right here. Like, uh... It, like, hurts my ears every time I hear that sound. Like, the song is an awful. I mean, she's just talking about, like, you know, from this one relationship she's in, like, all the things she's wondering about. Who's with him all the time? Who's he sleeping with? What's he doing? And things like that. Questions most people ask themselves when they get through with a breakup. Like, what are they doing all the time? And so, I feel like her vocals aren't the best in this song. They're kind of, like, whiny to me, so it's hard for me to listen to this song. Because I just feel like there's not, like, a set tone for this song. And I just, I don't really care for it. And so, I, I don't know, I feel like this one could have been done better without that stupid little, like, ah, I can't take it.
13 is Let Me Give You My Love. And this song, I love the rhythm and the beat of this song. Like, I think it's flawless and beautiful and it just makes it like go so well together. And I love the chorus, like where it's like, like it's just, her vocals are gorgeous in this song. The lyrics are a little odd. I mean, she's, what is it she says? She says like, like can we start mixing gene pools, Eastern, Western, and then something about like, make the room our melting pot. I felt like, I don't know, those are just kind of weird things to say. Like, I hope nobody goes up to a guy and asks him if we can mix gene pools. <laughs> I just feel like that's a really awkward thing to say, like, in a song. I don't know. And so, like, is it catchy? Yes, because of the whole... Like, I love her vocals and, like, the inflections and the way that it goes with this beat. Like, it's so beautiful and I can actually hear a rhythm in this song. And so I really do love the song. I wish the lyrics were changed just a little bit because some of it's a little bit odd, but it is still a really beautiful song. I just, I love the, just, even just the music itself, you know, but her vocals really make this song with how she keeps them so soft. 14 is about me. And I love the guitar at the beginning of this song. Um, I actually used to play guitar quite a while ago. I feel like everybody used to play guitar, but um, I just, I've always had a thing for like acoustic stuff. And it's so like, hear something that sounds more raw and acoustic and nonetheless a song titled about me and so it was just very interesting to read the lyrics that go along with this song because then the when it gets to the chorus like it completely like changes up the tone of the song which it's kind of odd because it definitely was threw me off when I first listened to it I was like oh I was not ready for that I thought it was gonna be like a nice like acoustic ballad but it's definitely not and so the song itself, though, is actually really pretty, and I do enjoy it. Right here is where it changed up. And again, though, her vocals are so soft and beautiful here, and so the song ended up being one of my favorites as well because of just how she kept the song as a whole together to really make it flow and actually sound like it's one song instead of like five random songs kind of like thrown into one song and then I'm not sure what tone and rhythm I'm listening to and so it just kind of got a little bit confusing. So overall I thought the Hikaru Utada Exodus album was actually a pretty good release. As I said there were several songs on there I'm not really a huge fan of but for the most part it's a pretty good album. It's definitely unique and different so I would definitely not recommend it if like you... If you've never listened to Utada Hikaru type stuff, she is, it's better to start off I feel like with some of her earlier materials because I feel like there's a really big divide with this album. Like there's people who absolutely love it and then there's people who can't stand it and they're like, wow, this was a horrible release for her. And I just feel like, I mean, a lot of the songs were written by her, but we also have to remember too, she did grow up in America, but she, she does speak Japanese and so she, I feel like she has more freedom to be able to release her albums in both countries. And so obviously her Japanese is going to be a little bit, I don't know, a little bit better, I feel like, whereas she's not as tailored for the American market. Not to say that she can't be amazing in the American market, but it's just, I feel like America itself isn't quite ready for music like this. And so I personally, when I bought it, like I enjoyed it because I enjoy listening to J-pop music and things like that. So it was definitely something that was a worthy purchase in my opinion, but it is something that's very different. So it's not going to be your normal style type of music if that's what you're looking for. You taught it's definitely a little bit different in how she does things, but this album itself, while it had a lot of unique elements and sounds added into it, her vocals were very good and she, I, I thought it was a solid release. There are some beautiful, very worthy songs on that album. And so I don't really have anything to say like, oh, this album was horrible or I just think it's okay. Like I actually do enjoy this album quite a bit and I do listen to it quite often. And so I would definitely recommend this one, but I would recommend that you go and check out some of her earlier work as well. I do plan on doing a review on her other albums that have come out. So look forward to those. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video. Please don't forget to comment below and let me know what your thoughts were on this album and if you've listened to it. Also, if you've got other recommendations for any J-pop or K-pop artists, 
let me know and I'll be sure to add those to my list to check them out. And thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you next time.